Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jamie G here. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you are new here, my name's Jamie. I cover internet marketing, affiliate marketing, how to get started online, and pretty much all things digital. If that's of interest to yourself, I'd love to have you guys join me. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to stay up to date with everything I'm putting out. What I'm covering today, it's an interview I did earlier in my Facebook group with a gentleman who is a master of growing Facebook groups. Uh, we go into why you should grow one, how you can grow one quickly, how you can get better engagement, and it's packed with value. So it's a big one, it's about an hour long, uh, but like I say, if you do take the time to watch it, there's a lot of nuggets of gold in there. So anyway, I'm just gonna uh, jump on my laptop. I'll see you guys right after this. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jamie G here. I want to say a massive thanks for joining me in today's video. Now, this is attempt number five, I must admit, at going live. I've actually just gone live in another group with a gentleman by the name of Corey who's going to be joining me very soon. Hopefully, I can work out the kind of technology behind getting someone involved uh, on my live. Now, basically what we're talking about today is the importance of growing your tribe. And I know I've covered this uh, before, but as an affiliate marketer or an entrepreneur of any kind, it is really important that you are focusing on, I guess, building your sphere of influence. And uh, what Corey's got is uh, basically, he's gonna go from zero to a thousand uh, group members in his Facebook group in less than 90 days and he's absolutely kicking butt 759 at the time of counting at the moment uh, less than 30 days and he has uh, now joined the live I'm gonna try and get him on board here and uh, he's gonna be able to come in and help you guys and sort of talk about I guess the importance of um, of building your tribe hey what's up man how are you what's up good you hey, man how are you good Hey, um, attempt number five, we finally got there. Thanks so much. <laughs> got it, man. Practice makes perfect, right? That's it. Exactly, exactly. Um, so I was just uh, sort of doing a bit of an intro there. I was just saying that I guess as affiliates or entrepreneurs or, or anything really, uh, in order to grow your business, it's so important to, to basically grow a tribe of people that you can relate to and you can provide value to and ideally you can sort of sell to as well and uh, obviously there's a number of different ways you can do that by uh, i use chatbots or so chatbots and facebook groups and youtube and blogs and you know and it's all those things sort of linked together to uh, i guess create your sphere of influence but um obviously you've got this uh, mission at the moment to grow your facebook group so tell us about that man i'm uh, i'm all ears all right man. The, the, the cool thing was yeah, absolutely. So basically, uh, you know, I go by Coach Corey. I got the hat on. I'm actually a lacrosse coach, um, so I'm used to all the kids calling me coach, you know, and I just run with it, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> just started the Facebook group, and that's actually one of the first things that I talk about when it comes to growing a group. Uh, you want to make sure that you guys are out there, um, you know, building like a team mindset. You know, like, like you were mentioning like building your tribe. Um, I look at it more of building your team just because, you know, I'm a coach, I guess, you know, and, I, and teamwork makes the dream work, right? So step number one, guys, when you're starting out your group, make sure that people know that your group is all about teamwork, you know, make sure that they know that they're a part of your group and uh, that'll help encourage them to actually do like engaging content and stuff and, and make posts because that's one of the biggest things that uh, a group needs in order to grow is just the engagement in the group, you know, and if you, I mean, you can grow a group, to hundreds of thousands really fast and really easy, but you'll have a whole bunch of people that don't want to, you know, do any kind of commenting unless it's complete spam, right? Yeah, exactly. I was, I was actually going to ask, is one of the questions I did have for you is, um, so, so two things actually, it's a twofold question I might, might ask it in separate parts, but uh, I guess the first one is, is there a way uh, or a technique that you use in order to, I guess, minimize and reduce the sort of spam content in your groups? Yeah, I mean, not really. I, I typically will start getting, uh, you know, when you start building relationships, which is what your group is all about, right? You'll start getting the people yeah. that you trust, the people that are super supportive, and you can ask them to help moderate your group. Um, most people already have their own kind of group, so it's hard to really get that kind of uh, moderation. But even like in, in the group that I'm building right now, like you said, um, 700 and 50 some members in I think 35 days or whatever. Um, yeah. 
and really I haven't had that much spam yet, you know, and I think the reason being is because you know, I'm, I'm really trying to target the right people to come into the group. Now there has sure. been spam, you know, and people, you know, you'll get the occasional person that joins a group and then as soon as they join, they spam, you know, it's like, it says new member yeah. next and then it's just a, Hey, buy this, whatever. Yeah, bang. Here's my link. <laughs> right. And, and the biggest thing for me, you know, that's what I call weeding. So, when uh when I'm teaching about growing a group, I compare it to like growing a garden, and uh you know the spammers are your weeds. You just gotta make sure you pull them out as fast as possible. As soon yeah. as you, as soon as you see it, like no questions asked, I kick them out of the group and I block them, right? Because I I don't need to go in there and kind of you know say hey you know please don't make comments like this or don't leave your affiliate link. It's in my rules, and if you don't follow the rules, you're out of the group. Plain and simple. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. I follow I follow a similar similar suit and as you uh, sort of mentioned before we um, went live we, we went live in Corey's group and uh, one of the things that was commented on is I actually use the chatbot sequence to encourage people to get into my group and that was in, in my mind a way that I could uh, well two two reasons one is I get leads out of it um, secondly it also minimizes the I guess the potential for spam because if people aren't willing to go through a very short bot sequence just to join the group and get a tiny little unique password to them, then, you know, do I really want that type of person uh, in the group anyway, I guess is the thing. So anyway, yeah, it's uh, good, good, to, uh, good to hear your thoughts on that. But um, other question, uh, I think this is probably something that's going to help a lot of people out as well is um, it, it's all, uh, hey, Diana, how are you? Thank you very much for joining. It's all very well to, um, I guess, grow your group. That, that's awesome. Um, and you know, if you're able to do that in sort of rapid succession, that's awesome, right? But I guess one of the issues that I think a lot of group owners have, self-included, is how do you maintain the engagement? Um, and I guess the, like obviously if you're driving the content, that's that's great, but then how do you sort of encourage other people to jump on and go, you know, here's some valuable content or you know, all that sort of stuff. What, what are your sort of uh, hot tips on that? Yeah, so, I mean, like you said, you just got to try to encourage them. You know, come up with different things. Um, I try to do different contests or giveaways, stuff like that, to uh, to drive engagement inside the group. But, you know, again, going back to that whole team mindset, making sure that they know, hey, it is okay to post in the group. Just don't do any kind of affiliate links, you know, uh, because I think a lot of people, they join a whole bunch of different groups, and the rules can kind of vary between group to group. And a lot of times they're kind of afraid just to comment, you know. And there's going to be a lot of people that join a group like or your group or whoever's group that they just, yeah. they don't want to get outside of the comfort zone, you know, and, and they can be like the, the most engaged person in your group. Like they read every post and they watch every video, but they never hit a like yeah. button or they never, you know, comment or anything like that. But just know like they're, they're still watching, you know, obviously um, you do a live video and then all of a sudden it has, you know, whatever, 50 views, a hundred views, whatever it is. And you might have, three likes and two comments, you know, but obviously there's people yeah. out there that are engaging in what you're saying and doing, but they're not willing to, you know, put themselves out there that little bit. So you just really got to encourage it, obviously in live videos, you know, hashtag live, hashtag replay. Um, I hate saying that in videos and I find it so annoying <laughs> uh, to be honest, because I think, you know, most people already know that, you know, live videos are all about, you know, just hashtag like, like it's a common thing, right? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, exactly. But then, sorry, I'm just uh, trying to create like one actual engaging, uh, you know, engaging post yourself. Like one of the things that I'll do sometimes in a group is I'll create a post that's basically, you know, I don't know if it's challenging or testing other members or whatever. But you know, I'll do a post saying, you know, what is the engagement on their post will get X, Y, Z, you know, and even if it's just like a free ebook giveaway kind of thing, um, yeah. you know, but that way people start, start posting just to see what kind of comments they get. And you can actually use that like twofold. One, you're going to start getting more engagement because, uh, people are going to be posting these posts, but then also, um, you can encourage them to like invite their friends. Like, so if I do a contest where whoever has the most engagement on a post wins, you know, whatever it is, like, I, you know, money usually works a lot. 
or if you got some kind of good product, you know, free course or software, something like that works great. Um, I'll even look around my house. Like I, you know, I've given away stuff like a mouse or whatever. Like I'll just <laughs> grab my office and say, guys, this is my personal blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to give it yeah. to you if you get the most, most engagement on your group. So to make sure that you guys do that, you know, go out there and invite your friends into the group and then have them like and comment on your, on your post, you know, and that's all there is to it. And that'll get, you know, pretty decent reactions. Um, but the main thing that, I, that I'm looking for when I'm doing that is you're find you're finding the go-getters, right? Just like you are in my group. Um, yep. you're, you're posting, you're liking, like, I know you by name. I know your face. I, I you know, <laughs> I feel like I know you and it's because I do know you because you're, yeah. group, you know, and if I could give like one word of advice for anybody that's in this group, if you're watching, um, you know, the replay or whatever, make sure that you're commenting and posting as much as you can inside of this group because Jamie's going to get to know you and he's going to know who you are. And at some point when you guys have your own product or something like that to promote, you can reach out to him and you guys can create a, like a JV partnership, right? It's one of the ways that I yeah. been able to contact like some of the biggest names in affiliate marketing. I mean, I don't know. Spencer Meacham, I guess, is a pretty big name. You know, Catlin Bextridge. <laughs> yeah, Liam James K, Rachel S. Lee. Like, all of these people, I've done the same exact thing, going in their groups, commenting, answering questions, stuff like that. And now whenever I reach yep. out, like, they're getting back to me. You know, like, um, Rachel actually just did a little interview with me the other day, and we're going to set up an interview inside my group on Monday. And then uh, she's going nice. to in her group you know later down the road so but that's how you guys kind of establish it on, on, on that note because um you know that, that you're talking about sort of the uh, omnipresence uh there about being across different groups all that sort of stuff one of the things that i find quite tricky is um if i'm producing content that's great like i'll go live on my group every day or i'll, I'll think of a quote or you know some sort of meme or i don't know whatever something i think might help my group but then one of the issues that I, I have is I'm not getting the engagement in my group because I'm spending so much time in other people's groups. So how do you sort of balance that out, if that makes sense? Yeah. Uh, so basically, like, you know, the one of the first things that I teach people in my group, just get involved in like five, maybe 10 groups total, right, um, that are going to be sure. in your niche. And then, you know, spend like an – really, you only need to spend like an hour a day on it, you know, inside of other groups. Yeah don't have to be liking every single thing you know like i mean you rock and roll and obviously you know we've now got the, this relationship because of it right yeah, yeah once you start establishing that now you can just kind of go back every once in a while and you know just keep feeding that group and and start drawing people towards you which is what it's all about sure. action marketing whatever you want to call it um but the people inside that group like just like i know who you are like i know who a whole bunch of other people in my group are because of the fact that they're commenting and posting, you know, and I'm sure that yeah. you know um, people in my group because of the comments and posts, you know, like you, yeah. you see all the time. And that's that's the relationship that you're trying to grow, and then you're reaching out to those people, you know, friending them, and then inviting them into your group. Love it. Um, Is that a question? Um, enough. You, <laughs> you were talking before about um, uh, one of the comments you made is that you might get say. 120 ish views on your video, but you might only get a like or maybe a comment here and there from your mum. In my case, at least, anyway, thanks, mum. Um, but um, what, what I've uh, done is a little experiment over the last maybe, I don't know, actually don't know how long it's been, maybe 30 days, I think. I've just been going live. It's not actually in my group, it's on my Facebook page. Um, and the reason being is I wanted to, I wanted to see, I wanted to make it non committal for people so they can still see you know, all my stuff on my page if they choose. So I then share that live into my group. Obviously, I'm not getting that same engagement in my group. That's fine. I'm then sharing it across a whole bunch of groups. But I was actually looking at the stats recently, and I've, I've, I know it's, you know, a bit hearsay really with Facebook a lot of the time, but I've, I've reached over 12,000 people in uh, less than 30 days of doing that. So um, I guess, yeah, in terms of going live and actually producing video content and, just keep going with it. Um, you know, I think it's one of those things that, it, you know, with, whether people actually know me or, or give a crap, really, um, at least they are starting to become familiar. Like I'm, I'm broadening 
my horizons by doing that, I think. So, yeah, yeah. little little tip for anyone watching. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's, you know, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Especially right now with Facebook being the way it is, you got to remember Facebook and, and YouTube or Google, right, are competing against each other. So Facebook is doing everything they can to promote live videos. That's why whenever you go live, it pops up on everybody's screen saying so and so's live in this group or so and so's live here or there or whatever. Um, because they're trying everybody let's see, all of them are trying to keep you on their page. So YouTube wants you to stay yeah. on you know, Facebook wants you to stay on Facebook. And Facebook, I mean, right now, groups and live videos are what Facebook is promoting. You know, so if you're doing live videos, it's gonna get pumped out there. Um, the one thing I don't know if this is completely true or not. But as far as my understanding, with Facebook pages, they don't promote as much for you for free because they want you to pay for them to promote it. Yeah, yeah. That's something I, I don't think there's any evidence out there whether it's true or not. Um, but some people say, oh, yeah, as soon as I linked my group to my, my page, now I don't get any members to my, my group anymore, you know. And maybe it's true. I don't know. But I don't think... It's, um Actually, a, a part of this experiment that I did as well was um, I thought I'd mix it up. I, I thought uh, I thought I'd boost a couple of posts, and, and I, I run Facebook ads for other companies, so I'm I'm usually pretty against just doing a boost post. It's sort of like it's not really as targeted. You don't really get the same reach. It's just kind of like if I can't be bothered actually going to Ads Manager and creating all the targeting, all that sort of stuff, I'll just you know hit the button and, and leave it at that. But I just wanted to see. I guess doing something uh, as simplistic as that, because I know that's a lot easier for people to comprehend to boost a post or boost a video, or whatever the case may be, as opposed to, you know, here's how Ads Manager works. So I wanted to yeah. see what my reach was going to be from doing that. And I actually found that the boost post got less reach than my organic posts, my organic videos. So, right. I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> they want, they yeah. want you to pay, but then also, yeah, I think you can still get on get on the good side of the algorithm from uh, doing that type of stuff as well so there you go right, yeah. my, my little experiment <laughs> yeah but um yeah, i mean it just makes sense because obviously you know facebook's trying to make money like that's what they do um but you know of course they're going to want it. and that's why they, they suggest you even like linking your group to a page or creating mm -hmm. into your group because they want to try to get you to you know start advertising through their you know boosted post or whatever um yeah Funny. So, uh, circling back to the group stuff, uh, I guess one of the other issues that, that I know I face, and, and I'm going to assume that other entrepreneurs face this as well when they're creating a group, is like I, I know for myself, I've been involved in affiliate marketing for a number of years, and even though I'm not like seven figures or anything like that, I, I kind of like I've spent a lot of time chasing shiny objects, so I've got a, a lot yeah. of knowledge in there. I can just skim a lot of it off my off the top of my head, but then it always reaches a point where I'm like, okay, oh, I actually have to think about what I'm, what content I'm going to produce today. So I guess the question is, uh, how do you keep coming up with unique content ideas for your group? I, I think I'm just wired that way, man. I really don't know. Like when I'm, I drive around at work a lot, like at my day job. And uh, when I do that, like I'm just constantly thinking of, you know, what can I post today or, or whatever. Like, like you said, you just got, you just got to come up with it. Um, yeah, I'm always trying to think of the next thing to do. And a lot of times, you know, it's just a spur of the moment. You just jump on and go with it and see what happens. Um, and then just kind of like, you know, live and learn. Like some things are going to get a lot more reactions, I guess, than others. Um, but that's what it is. And that's, that's another tip that mm -hmm. I'll give, you know, like a lot of people that grow in groups and stuff, like I, I kind of mentioned earlier how I, I pull weeds. Like I just get rid of people. And um, I've had some other groups because I've grown several groups to a thousand plus and I've had some top affiliates in there and they broke the rules and I kicked them out and people get all upset. Like Why are you kicking these guys out, you know, whatever. And, you know, as the leader of your group, you have to be the leader, right? So if you make yeah. them, you got to follow them and then um, don't be afraid to kind of hurt somebody's feelings or step on somebody's toes because at the end of the day, like, you can't please everybody, so why try? Yeah, right? like just be yourself, be straightforward, um, and that's what being a good leader is. That's that's how you become the good leader. You know, a, a strong leader of your group 
is the fact that you can make a decision and you can stick with it. Don't be wishy-washy. Um, if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. That's all there is to it. So that, that's an interesting uh, point on, on that note because uh, when someone's growing a group, I, I know I suffered from this a lot and I still, I still kind of get it a, a lot where – yeah, we all have questions that we want to ask and some people ask for email addresses, stuff like that. And I find it interesting. Some people are like, this is a you know, compulsory, you must put your email address in. And other people like kind of word it a little bit different. Like, oh, you know, if you'd like me to send you a free report, you know, enter your email address. And yeah, I find it really interesting because uh, a lot of people just, they like when they're answering the question, just yes, yes, no. Um, and for me, I've got one of the questions is uh, if money's not a uh, consideration, what would you, do to help the world and the reason why i put that there is i wanted people to well two reasons one is i wanted to be reminded of why people are doing affiliate marketing being an entrepreneur and all that sort of stuff and end of the day it comes down to human goodness like we all want to do good stuff and and some of the answers are really quite amazing and then every now and then you get to someone who's like doesn't answer or just go yes 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 like, okay yeah. i get it so when you're starting out you're trying to grow your group do you allow the people that haven't answered your questions into the group or do you think, okay, because you need the numbers or do you just sort of go, no, nah, haven't answered the questions, just going to leave you on the sidelines? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I do. I just let them in. Um, depending, like, if they don't answer the questions, depending on how busy I am, I'll check out the profile because obviously, like, that's the quickest way to see if, you know, these people are going to be kind of legit or not. Um, yeah. And then if not, I let them in, and I just I'm literally waiting for them to do that first spam post so I can just kick them out. You know, maybe I get a little yeah. bit on the button. Yeah, I'm just like, come on, let's see it. You know, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, in order like in order to grow your group to a thousand members in ninety days or less, like I'm teaching, um, you you could let people in without having to do the answers. Like with with your case, I'm not sure how well it worked just because of the fact that you know you're doing the chat bot kind of thing which you'll get more quality members into your group, I, I think. Um, yeah. I, you know, when I'm trying to grow a group to 1,000 members in 90 days, like, you got to be adding a lot pretty quick. And, yeah. Uh, you know, if they're not answering questions, I'm, I'm still letting them in. Um, but, again, I'm taking note of the people that are actually answering the questions. You know, like, like don't just put these questions out there for no reason, you know. Um, sure. And I got a – I use a software or a – I guess it's a Chrome extension that will capture all that stuff for me and puts it into a document yep. so I can go back and check it out. But, um, but those, again, those are going to be the people that are going to be your, your, your highest targeted people are people that are going to be answering your questions. Just like with you filtering through the chat bot, um, you know, the people that are answering your questions are going to be that much more quality and really yeah. you need to target and try to make those relationships with. Yeah. You know, um, as, another you know, question what you're talking about like there's you know some groups and it's like absolutely mandatory to answer you know put your email address in here and then i just you know, like, skip it and then i'm added to the group anyway so it's like you know yeah but, um i wouldn't do I that i kind of feel bad <laughs> right if i don't put it in the right like when i ask the other people, um... a lot of people will be like uh you know a lot of people are saying oh you gotta offer them something for free some kind of free report or whatever um I don't know, man. I think at the end of the day, when it comes to joining a group, if they're going to give you your email, they're going to give you their email, right? So, like, yeah. mine is just, yeah. I think mine just says, like, give me your email if you want me to be able to reach out to you later or something, you know, something really stupid. And, yeah. stupid. and I still get a lot of people that give me their emails, you know? So, not everybody. And then a lot of the people that join my group isn't, uh, doesn't come through that route because I'm inviting them into the group and then they don't have to. Sure invited you know yeah okay sure. and that's um go ahead sorry oh, i was gonna say um on that note another question i just sort of popped into my brain which i think again would be really quite valuable for people is we all want to grow this group uh group groups and and you know it's across a whole bunch of different niches out there or niches depending on what part of the world you're from um but uh one of the things that i guess it's probably going to struggle for a lot of people. I know, no, for me, I, I kind of suffer from this as well. Is at what point, if if I'm only getting like you know five likes or two likes or no watches, one watch, whatever, at what point do you start going? Okay, cool. I can start monetizing my group. 
um, you know, now type thing? What, what, is there sort of like a tipping point or do you start introducing affiliate products or, or your own products almost straight off the bat or how does that work? Yeah, so for me, um, I try to hold off on any kind of affiliate promotions until, you know, the, the group's really going uh, pretty strong. Um, and then really I'm always like hinting towards or teasing posts inside the group about the product that's coming out. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So yep. gets them kind of hyped up. And then next thing you know, you got a bunch of members that are asking, oh, where do I get it at? Or, you know, and that's when you know, when you start getting a bunch of people commenting or, or asking you questions in your messenger, um, you know, that's when you know it's time to release it. You know, uh, I don't go yeah. off of necessarily post engagement because, again, there's a lot of people that are going to watch your videos that don't comment or like or anything like that. Um, yeah. But when you have a, a product, which if you're growing a group, guys, you got to be very uh, niche specific or niche, whatever. Um, so, and then create your own course on it, right? You got to be the expert when it comes to uh, some area. So, like I tell members in my group all the time, don't do a group that's just affiliate marketing. Be like affiliate, like how to use chatbots for affiliate marketing or um, how to use, you know, Facebook ads for affiliate marketing, something like that, because it narrows it really down so people know when they go into your group that that's what they're getting, you know. Um, and then you're going to get the right quality people. Then you can create the course for it, you know, which puts you as the expert. And then you can sell that course. Yeah. And, uh, again, as you're building out the course, guys, you can pre-sell the course. So when you're – like I'm building my course right now, and I'm kind of pre-selling it in the group. Uh, just by doing simple posts saying, hey, you know, I've got the group. It's not out yet. Hopefully it's going to be out in the next couple of weeks or whatever. And you're just kind of like, you know, yeah. getting the fish on the hook, and now you're just reeling them in. And then whenever you are ready to launch, you can just launch. Um, and one of the best ways to do that is, you know, create just a portion of your course and then give it away so you can get some testimonials coming in. Don't, you know, sure. and then just building it as you go. So if my course has seven modules in it, I might release it when there's, you know, three or four of them done and then yeah. give them away to just a certain amount of people that are really engaged in my group, you know, or make posts in your group saying, hey, if you guys want access to my course for free, you know, be one of the top five people in the last 28 days, uh, you know, the top five, yeah, you whatever you call it, engaged people in the group because you can do that inside your group insight and you can see them. And then say, I'm going to give it away to the top five or the top ten people, you know. And then you'll start seeing more engagement going just because people want to, uh, you know, they want to get it for free, you know, first of all. Yeah. And then once they do, because you give it to them for free, then they'll be more willing to give you, like, a good solid review on it, right? Like, because you're giving all this value to them for free. And then you can say, hey, you know, since I gave this to you for free, can you do a quick testimonial just saying, you know, something about what you learned in it or blah, blah, blah. You know, screenshot it, put it in the group, whatever. Um, and then that way you can get some testimonials. That way you can put that inside your funnels and stuff too. And uh, and then it just kind of goes from there. Amazing. Love it. Yeah. Um, Corey, the other question that I, I did uh, sort of pop into my brain is, um, and again, I think this is probably something that's going to help a lot of people out potentially, is if, uh, if you don't have a track record, like, for example, um, let, let, oh, I'm in affiliate marketing. So let's say that you're getting into affiliate marketing and you're just learning the stuff, but you obviously know en enough to kind of create content and grow a group, all that sort of stuff. Is there a way to kind of shortcut your sort of authority? Like, to, so that way when you're posting stuff, people are like, oh, well, that person knows what they're talking about type thing. Is, that, is there any way in your experience to kind of hack that, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I kind of mentioned it earlier, like when you uh... – when you're first getting started, join some of the big names, um, you know, getting getting inside of their groups, and you're going to create what they, what do they call it, like social proof, right? So sure. yeah. I've, I've done interviews with all of, you know, Spencer Meacham and Liam James Kay and Catelyn Bechtridge, all the guys that I've mentioned before. Um, but the reason is, is because, like I said, I built that relationship first inside of their group. And then yeah. when they get to the video, you can say, hey, you know, I just started a group. And, you know, would you be willing to do an interview with me for my group, you know? And then that's like instant justification because now um, not only 
you know, do you know, you know, what you're supposed to be talking about? But you, you're in the, you're in the in crowd. You know, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, yeah, because basically, I mean, I'm kind of a perfect example. So, six months ago, I was absolutely nobody on, you know, sure. or whatever. And I happened to grow, I grew a group about lacrosse because I'm a lacrosse coach, right? And I hit like a thousand members. And then I grew a group that's about like motivational, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> motivational. And then I grew a group about a uh, certain software that I use. I won't mention it. Um, but then when I, I grew that last, there's so many, there's so many affiliate marketers for that, that last one, that software kind of thing. Um, and I grew it so fast. I just kept having so many people ask me, how do you grow this group so fast? How do you grow this group so fast? And I said, you know what? I'm going to create a group about growing groups and then I'll make a course and I'll sell it. Right. And that's what I'm doing. And, you know, you've been a part of it from like day one, I think. Um, so you got to kind of witness. I didn't think it would even go this fast, to be honest, you know, to go. Yeah. I knew a thousand and ninety would be easily, you know, easily achievable. Um, but I mean, we're at, you know, 750 in 35 days. So it's you know, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, it's going a little faster than I thought. But that's also just more social proof that, you know, I know what I'm doing. And now, yeah, yeah. now people that are joining my group are looking at me as the expert, right? Yeah. A growing group. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, like, don't, like, the biggest thing is just don't hold yourself back. You know, like, like you said, I think most people when it comes to affiliate marketing especially probably have all the knowledge they need because they probably bought in thousands of dollars of courses because I did. Um, they read all kinds of books because I did. You know, watch all kinds of training videos because I did. So they have everything that they need. They just don't go yeah. out you know, and that's the biggest thing is, you know, getting outside your comfort zone. Just like I did that video like a little bit ago, um, talking about getting outside of your comfort zone, like doing live video. It's so important. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was walking around in public and I got, you know, I got my t-shirt and shorts on, but I got my cowboy boots because I left my shoes at home, you know? So that's getting outside of your comfort zone. <laughs> but, but you got to do it, you know? And, and, yeah, yeah. People like the successful people. The only reason why they're there is because they're not afraid to go out there and and get outside their comfort zone. They're not afraid of people with hating on them. Like I said before, like if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. Like, yeah, exactly. Any popular person in the world, you know, and you got people that love them, you got people that hate them, and that's all there is to it. Yeah. So you got to be. Um, like, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head with, with that comment there about getting out of your comfort zone. Like, I um I started creating videos uh, probably the start of 2018, and I unfortunately I had a bit of a mishap with my YouTube channel. I ended up I think I I did like 75 videos straight, and I started to get some good growth, and I thought this is great. And then um, I actually don't know the reason YouTube hasn't come back with the specific reason, but that channel got got cut. All right, whatever. And unfortunately, I lost all my content because I'm stupid and I didn't save it. Uh -huh. But anyway, um, but I find like uh, first time I went live, uh, there was no one watching, and I still felt nervous. Like, oh, this is crazy because <laughs> I've always been a chronic phobia of public speaking. Yeah. Um, and it's this really weird thing where I find it really difficult to stand up in front of a group of like ten or twenty people. That I find that like I can't even speak. But I've got this weird thing in my brain where if you ask me to give a speech in front of a couple of hundred people, then I feel a lot more comfortable with it. So going live to start with, I was like, hi, my name is Jamie and thanks for joining me. And then now yeah. I kind of like, I don't even plan it. I just sort of go, oh, I think I'm going to talk about this topic, bang, live. Hey, what's up? And yeah, that's, yeah. My advice for people is, Corey knows what he's talking about. Get out there, make yourself uncomfortable and it will uh, You'll, you'll enjoy the process eventually. Absolutely. I do anyway. I love it. <laughs> exactly why I'm doing it, the 30-day live challenge in my group where you know, I'm giving away my course for free as soon as it launches. Uh, if you do 30 days consecutive, which I know you're partaking in that. And, um, you know, it, it's just amazing. Like, if you watch these people, like, and I know you're watching their videos, but you're going to see a complete transformation. It's like a, a caterpillar turning into a butterfly, man. Like, one person <laughs> in group or whatever had, like, their phone sideways and, they're trying to figure it out, you know, because it's their first time ever doing a live. But I guarantee you that person days from now is going to be, you know, just like you and I, 
sitting in front of a camera, talking natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the chat. Uh, you know. Well, I, I must have missed the post somewhere. I've, I've probably got too much stuff on my data and my feed there. But um, what, what's this thirty day challenge? What are we talking about here? Oh, I thought you were already doing it. But inside of uh, my group, I'm doing a thirty day Facebook Live challenge. Which basically, if you do a live video for thirty consecutive days. Um, I'm going to give you my course for free, which is all about growing groups uh, as soon as it launches. And then if you happen to buy because here's the thing, like whenever you launch a, a, a product, you should start low and keep raising up the price. So if somebody happens to buy it first, I'm just going to refund them the money, you know, whenever they're done with their 30 days kind of thing. Because um, I don't want to, if I launch the product for $17 and then it's, you know, 100 or $200 by the time that they buy it, you know, I don't want I don't want them to get like 28 days into the process and then, you know, realize that they miss a day or something and yeah. 500 bucks or whatever, you know? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so yeah, you're more than welcome to jump in there. Do right. You've already been. Doing I'll, 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 I'll do it. <clears throat> I probably can't commit to 30 days. I'm actually traveling uh, in a couple of weeks time. So I'm going to be airports. And oh, actually, no, maybe I can. Maybe that's just an excuse, but yeah, man, yeah. why not? I'll do it. I'm going live on my on my channel every day anyway, so might as well. Yeah, that's what you know. That's what I was telling uh, one of the other members because a lot of people kind of have that same thing. Well, I don't know if I can commit or whatever. I'm like, just pick a time of day that you know you're usually not too busy and set an alarm on your phone, you know, and just have the reminder being Facebook Live challenge, you know, um, and then jump in the group, do it. You don't have to do like a long presentation like this. Like you can literally just say, "Hey, man, I just got out of bed. I'm doing my live challenge day five or whatever yeah. it is." Um, I got nothing else to say. Peace. You know, and that's it. I don't care. All I want you to do is get comfortable being on camera because in order for you to be truly successful, like I said before, you got to be willing to do it. Every single big name out there has a YouTube channel. They do live videos. You know, they're always they're always in in the mainstream, right? And that's where you got to be to reach you know seven figures. On on that note, one of the challenges that I did at the start of the year, and I kind of I hadn't planned on doing it. I woke up on New Year's Day and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to pump out as much content as I possibly can. And so I started uh, going on my YouTube channel and I ended up uh, basically doing, I, I challenged myself to 90 days, but I ended up doing like 97. Unfortunately, I, I was traveling, so I was stuck on a plane for 24 hours or something. So you know, I had to break the chain. But um, in the end, it became more about not wanting to, to break the chain. So... I had a big wall calendar. I'd just mark it off every day, and it just meant that I kept pushing forward, which is uh, yeah, really cool. So, right. But anyway, yeah. look, I feel like I've um, held you on long enough, man. This has been awesome, no, man. Like I said, I'm I'm out of town tonight, so I got nothing else to do. I'm totally cool with it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of funny because there's actually this thing going around right now. I don't know if you've seen it. You probably have because I'm sure there's an affiliate a product uh, to it. But basically, somebody's selling like. Um, it's like a 30, a 30 day or a 60 day YouTube challenge, right? Like doing a YouTube video for yeah. 90 days or 60 days, whatever it is. I think it's 30 days to be honest. And they're selling the course for like $97. And I guarantee, like I didn't buy it because I'm not an idiot, but, um, and you're not an idiot either if you bought it, but, uh, dollars <laughs> and I guarantee you, you get inside and it says, all right guys, here's the challenge. Do a, a YouTube video for the next 30 days and then that's all it's going to be. And then they have an affiliate program because now like even in my group, uh, when I first launched this 30 day challenge, um, you know, I got people saying, you know, commenting in the group or whatever, I'm going to do a 30 day YouTube challenge. Who's with me? And I'm like, all right, that's, uh, you know, leading to that program. So I kicked them out of the group, you know, but whatever yeah. it happens. But don't pay a hundred dollars, guys. Like, just go through and do it yourself because I can only do, it. I can only do, do a little bit of keyword research, huh? Go, go do a little bit of keyword research and just start. Just start. It right. works. Yeah, exactly. And then, a lot of fun. A, if you do have a YouTube channel, um, another thing that I do with my groups in order to get like your videos ranked really quick, really fast, is to. Uh, to do another contest kind of thing, right? So what I'll do is I'll come up with a product. Like I posted in the group earlier, like, you know, three different options they can choose. That way I can kind of know what the people want. And then I'll create sure. a content. And then um, I'll, I'll do a YouTube video. So you're going to watch this inside my group. Um, next 
Thursday, I'll launch a YouTube video. And then anybody that partakes in the contest inside the group uh, will go and comment on that on that video in order to win because I can use a random comment picker for YouTube. So what it does is you launch a video, you get a whole bunch of comments right away, which drives your video straight to the top. And it can be on any topic, right? So as long as you're yeah. keyword research and stuff like that for your videos and how to uh, kind of kind of pre-rank them, um, what happens is YouTube says, wow, this video just launched and now it's got you know 20 comments or 100 comments or however many comments it is, you know, and it shoots you straight to the top. And like I said, it could be something like super like, you know, easiest way to do affiliate marketing is like the title of your thing. And then all you do is you talk about it. And then anybody that's in your group that wants to win that contest, you know, chances are they're going to watch the video anyway, but they're always going to come and leave a comment. Um, yeah. So that's, um, that's a, a, a tip and a half right there. I yeah. Like that. <laughs> giving away some of my secrets here, but you know, I'm all about helping people. You know that. Um, Here's but, the thing though. This this entire uh, entire video has been absolutely packed with amazing stuff. I guarantee, if I I'm going to re-record this and chuck it on my YouTube channel later because I think it's good, it's awesome. I guarantee most people probably won't watch to this point. Like they don't have the the brain uh, capacity to like pay attention for that long. I think so. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how long this has has been going for. I know it's been pretty long, like forty minutes or something, forty five minutes. I feel like yeah. Decent, decent chunk of time. But, you know, this is exactly like uh, like I was talking about earlier about the interviews. You know, so like when you do an interview with somebody, you know, especially if it's a bigger name person, you want it to go close to an hour because you you want to get as much information out of them as you can, obviously, but also because yeah. an hour-long video, if you post it on YouTube, you know, there will be people that watch the whole thing, you know, because as long as you're dropping little breadcrumbs along the way and they're picking them up, you know, they'll just keep watching. Now, yeah. uh, if one person watching right now, I don't know who it is, but um, you know, if you're watching, lucky off. Here we go. giving away pearls here. <laughs> um, funnily enough, you, you mentioned about uh, sort of leveraging off other people's names, and I, I somehow, I don't know, I think uh, Liam, James K must have had a, uh, some sort of competition, and, and I was one of the people that he volunteered to, to interview with. And I was like, great, this is awesome. So anyway, I finally sat down, wrote out all the questions. I'm like, this is awesome. It's only got 30 minutes, so I need to make sure it's really valuable. Right. And we had a great chat, and you know, he was a funny dude, and we were laughing and stuff, and it was cool. And then at the end of it, I'm like, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it, man. All the best. And then uh, unfortunately, for whatever reason, I had to record the audio, and I had this beautiful interview, and I was like, this is going to be uh -huh. awesome. And then yeah, the audio didn't work. So, uh -huh. man, it's just part of it. Part of the process, you know. Yeah, yeah. I did <laughs> technology. I the same thing. Like I, you know, I interviewed Liam too. Uh, probably, probably the same thing, similar timing, I bet. Um, and that was probably when he was first starting to really take off, you know. And I think that's one of the things that he did to to really get people to like, you know, push himself out there, you know. Um, yeah. Was by because he was like, you know, whatever. Probably buy my course and get a half hour interview with me or whatever it was um, yeah. but that's the thing like don't like like do that like try to promote yourself to people like even members in your group if they have a group say hey i'll i'll do an interview like i'm doing right now you know because you have a crowd i have a crowd we're both trying to help as many people as we can and and, and ultimately we will reap our rewards right so just like yeah the very beginning where you know growing a group is like growing a garden you put in all the work up front and it sucks, right? But then at the end of it, you get to reap the harvest. You know, you get to eat the fruit. Yeah. So, um, funny, funny you mentioned that actually, because uh, I, I think I did this. I can't remember if I did it in, the, in my YouTube vid or where my live yesterday. I don't know. I'm sort of all over the place. But basically, that actually happened to me recently. I created a video for a launch uh, about three and a half months ago now. And um, I got donuts. I got like maybe 10 views. And I thought, I can't believe, like it was ranking. It was like fourth place, but no one was, everyone was just going straight to the sales page and buying. No one was actually like typing in, you know, blah, 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 review or anything like that. So I didn't, I didn't get much out of it. And I kind of left it. I left it for a while. And then the launch phase was over. The price doubled, giving away 100% commission. And then all of a sudden, 
I seen the other day, uh, yesterday I woke up to like a hundred dollar commission out of it. Like, what? I don't, I can't even remember doing that. Like, right. that's the thing. It, it's not always, you know, it sucks because you, you go through this effort, you create your whatever, you, you get one or two likes on your posts or whatever. And then sometimes just strangely enough, just out of the blue, you just get like, it works. Somehow something works. Someone finds your content and they go, oh, this person's got so much content out there. It's ridiculous. Maybe I'll buy something off them. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. It's a long-term game plan. Yeah, that's exactly. That's the beauty of, you know, like we'll just cut all affiliate marketing, online marketing, whatever, is once it's out there, you know, I mean, it's out there. And you never know where yeah. somebody's going to find it and, and join or do whatever, you know, buy something from you. So, uh, you know, it's awesome. And, and one of the things that I, I tell or I coach people or tell people a lot um, you know, when it comes to online business, it's a lot like a locomotive, right? Like think of like an old, old steam engine locomotive where you got to put all this, you know, fuel in the fire. And then when it first starts to go, it's just slipping, you know, the, the tires are just slipping, well, not tires, but whatever. Yeah. You're slipping, you're spinning your wheels. You know, you're literally sitting in one spot, spinning your wheels, not going anywhere, but you're putting all this energy into it up front. But eventually that train starts to move, right? And it's like super slow at first and it's taking forever. But down the down the line, the train's moving full speed, you know? And then you literally yeah. stop it. So once you get this going and you're and you're cruising on down the tracks, it's just like a locomotive, that thing is not gonna stop on a dime. Like you could literally go out there, delete like all of your social media and everything like that. And as long as your links are out there, like it's not going to stop. Like you're going to keep getting checks coming in. Uh, but yeah. you got to be willing to put in that time up front in order to get it down the tracks, you know? So that's it. And then the, the, the deeper I go into this, the more I'm learning, the, the more that resonates because, you know, sometimes it sucks. I even, like I do a lot of launch jacking, which um, I don't know if anyone's watching, if you know what that is, basically just ranking for, Keywords based on a product launching, so um, meaning that you, it's easy to rank. Um, anyway, I, I do that quite often, and uh, some campaigns will go amazing. I'll get you know five, ten sales, and my like, sweet, you know, pays pays for my time. I'm pretty happy with that, and it's something right. I can technically nail. And then the next one, I'm like, I put all this effort into the review page, and I get all these graphics, and I do all this. I do this big write up, and I great do this great uh, review. In my opinion, a great review. And then I get donuts, like no one even clicks on my links, no one even looks at the page. I'm like, what right. am I doing wrong? And then, you know, the next one goes crazy again. It's just, yeah, it's one of those things that just sits out there for ages. So, yep, absolutely, <laughs> man. That momentum. Like I said, that's that's the cool. Like, um, actually, I had a, a big victory today, which I'm super excited about. I'm not sure. Nice. How, I'm not sure how it's going to pan out exactly, but um, I'm sure recently you heard of this. Uh, funnel that rhymes with Pam, right? So the creator of that funnel ended up joining me on one of my one of my things, and uh, I think it could be huge, because obviously he already, you know, has a big following, and, um, you know, if he promotes it, I mean, it's going to be great. Or at least That's awesome. But it all goes back to, like you said, uh, you know, you just got to keep, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it, you know? You yeah, know yeah. exactly. I you know I join his group and of course buying people's products like if you buy their personal product not like an affiliate link that's gonna get you like instant access to them right like yeah like if you you know if you buy Spencer Meacham's course which it's expensive but I yeah. guarantee you he's gonna start answering questions for you you know because yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Much invested in him so he's willing to invest in you and that's that whole you know law of reciprocation kind of thing you know you scratch my back I'll scratch yours. And, uh, you know, anybody that buys my course in the future, you know, if they reach out to me wanting to do an interview like this, obviously I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm doing it for free right now, right? So that's, that's – Love it. But, yeah, exactly. I think that's, you know, one of the things that I've, I've loved about this entire process is that, I mean, I'm connecting with people all around the world. Um, obviously yourself, there's people in South Africa, England, yeah. like all over the place. Um, and it's amazing. Some of the conversations that I've had, had a chat with this guy in Finland the other day. It was just, yeah, like I love these connections because it, it just sort of helps build your tribe and you, you start thinking, yeah, I'm on the right track. I'm doing something right. It's good to connect with awesome people, you know, across the globe type thing. Love right. it. Absolutely. And then 
let me throw out a couple more tips on growing your tribe, right? So first of all, if it's your group, you need to be liking like every single comment and post, no matter what, right? That's first and foremost. But secondly, when somebody engages in your group, like they do a comment in your group or they do a live video in your group, do everything that you can to like build them up, right? So every time that somebody does a live video, I'm like, fantastic job, great job, you rock and roll, you're the man, you know, and it's just uh, kind of feeding their ego and just like you would, you know, or you should, I guess, in other groups, you know, call it brown nosing if you will, but um, it's going to like, if you make somebody feel good about themselves, like they're going to help you make feel, you know, feel good about yourself too. And I think that's yeah. kind of, again, same, same thing, uh, law of reciprocation, but um, you know, definitely do so, that. If you have a group and people post a comment, if it's a good comment, you know, go in there for sure and be like, oh, dude, that's awesome. Like, you know, you're the man, you're the woman, whatever, you know, just build, yeah. them, build them up and then you're going to have you know, like loyal, raving fans, is, you know, is, and that's what it's all about, you know. Um, okay. and, there's, and like I said, there's people like, uh, so in my group, there's one guy that, you know, he went from 50 members to like, just under 400 members in 10 days, like using the stuff that I was teaching in the group. And he, you know, posted in the group, like shared his, you know, stats or whatever. I never even talked to the dude before, you know, I've never seen him comment in the group ever, you know, he never messaged me, nothing, just out of the blue. He said, yeah. you know, saying, Hey, check out my results after 10 days or whatever. And I was like, dude, that's, or he did it after two days because he went from like 50 members to like 110, you know, he saw, he's like, so he had like a hundred percent growth. And then, you know, yeah. later he up saying, you know, he had 300 and some members or whatever it was. And it was like, you know, whatever, 3,000% growth or whatever it was. So, but that's the cool part. You know, like for me as a coach, um, there's, there's some, there's times where you have like these very special moments, like, especially like for me as a lacrosse coach, when you're trying to teach a player how to do a certain thing and it's like, they're just not, yep. getting, it, not getting it, they're just not getting it. And then all of a sudden it's like, the light goes off in their yeah. eyes, you know, and you yeah, yeah, yeah. It in their eyes that they, they understand it now. And from that point forward, man, like they're just unstoppable, you know? And it's like, that's, that's really why I like doing what I do because I like to, to see people reach their full potential, you know, and just yeah. get out there. And, uh, Actually, um, go ahead. I should mention that that's, um, <clears throat> I said I had a similar experience. So I used to work in the financial markets and like foreign exchange, derivatives, trading, blah, blah, blah. And so my job was um, teaching about the markets, but teaching about the uh, company I work for, their software, all that sort of stuff. And so we'd do a, a platform walkthrough. So we'd you know, say this is how you access the charts. This is some basic uh, chart fundamentals, some analysis. Here's how you place your, your trades and your stop losses, all that sort of stuff. And a lot of the time... I was speaking with people and they just, they, exactly as you mentioned, they just couldn't quite grasp it. And then eventually you can hear it in their voice when you're on the phone. They go, oh, and you're like, yeah, I got the, it's a light bulb moment. Like, oh, I get it. And you're like, yes, nailed it. So that's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm similar. That's why I love doing what I'm doing at the moment. Just, yeah, it doesn't matter how many people I, I impact, um, if at all, but, you know, for me to be able to hopefully provide that value out there, it's uh, sort of what it's all about, I think. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, if you help enough people get what they want, you'll get everything that you want, you know. That's what Zig Ziglar said, and I'm a firm believer, you know. So, yeah. But, yeah, awesome, man. Well, man. I'm probably going to let I still haven't eaten yet. I don't know what time it is there. It's like 9 o'clock p.m. here. Um, but, yeah, yeah like uh, you were saying. Quarter to 11. 11 p.m. or a.m.? Uh, yeah, 11 a.m., quarter to 11. I am. Oh, I, yeah, you're like the more. Yeah, but but it's like uh, you said, that's so cool. That's one of the things I love about like growing the group on Facebook is the fact that you get people from all over the world, just like you said, you know, that are joining. And uh, like I'm already planning trips in the future, like to different areas of the world to visit these people, you know. And that's actually I'm making posts and use like use it all the time in my groups. I'll post something like. You know, if my wife and my, or me and my family are going to come and visit you, where are we going, you know? And then they'll say where they're from, and then you hit them back up. Like, always yeah. try to answer answer questions with questions, you know, or answers with questions. So they say, I'm from, you know, whatever, the UK. 
oh, cool. Well, what's the coolest thing to do in whatever town you're in? Or, you know, what's what's the fun yep. thing to do? And then they'll come back with whatever. And like, oh, man, I've never done that before. That'd be so cool. Like, even if you have, it doesn't matter. Like, you're just engaging, right? Like, keep that conversation going. And uh, you'll start seeing a lot more people come, you know, commenting and stuff, too, because now they're reading the comments and they're more willing to go out there. It's all about social proof, you know. And then uh, kind of yeah, the algorithm. Right. And then, you know, and then one last tip, like whenever you're at, whenever you're asking questions in a group, like to your group, always answer them yourself, you know, because people are going to want to uh, to see what your answer is anyway. And a lot of times they'll just ask you, which is fine. But being that first one in the water kind of thing, uh, I think helps out a lot with the engagement on the post. So sure. like if I if I do a, a question in my group, I'm answering it you know, with my answer and don't be afraid to do controversial, like controversial stuff is really the best stuff when it comes to post engagement. Um, one of the best engaged posts that I had was, you know, do you think the earth is round or flat? And then, you know, I made it a poll and I said flat. So, you know, everybody and their brother now wants to prove that the earth is round and I'm sitting there trying to prove that it's flat. Whether I believe it's flat or not makes absolutely no difference. Because everybody's yeah. commenting and trying to prove me wrong. So I got a post with, you know, hundreds of comments. And I could have kept that thing going forever because, I mean, there are flat earthers out there. And to be honest, I actually am one. So, you know, that's how it is. <laughs> I'm not going to get into this debate right now. It's been a great conversation up to this point. <laughs> All right, leave a comment below. Is the word earth flat or round? <laughs> Yeah, if you're still watching this, you're probably crazy enough to believe that the earth is flat, too. No, I just kidding. Um, yeah, but no, this is a great interview. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, man. At the end of the day, does it matter if the earth is flat around? I'm happy either way. You know, it's, right? You're going to get out of bed. doesn't make any difference tomorrow. Man. You're going to get up and go after it tomorrow no matter what. It don't matter to me. Yeah. Right? So it's just kind of like. I like searching for the edge of it anyway. So there you go. I'm a traveler. So. Yeah, exactly. You know, like I said, get outside your comfort zone. Go tell people that you believe the earth is flat. I, I might use that, I think. See how it goes. <laughs> you should. I guarantee you're going to get some posts. You know, but yeah. you take the flat earth side, you know, like, otherwise it's not going to get that kind of engagement. You might actually get a couple yeah. people that actually say the earth is flat, you know, which is always kind of fun too, because then they start going back and forth. And you don't have to do anything. You can just step back and yeah. just kind of step back and go, all right, my, my job is done here. <laughs> exactly. And that's exactly what happens when I do it. Um, and then, like I said, it's really cool because they start engaging with each other. And then I'll usually come back because it'll start getting kind of heated at some point if it's real controversial. But um, but then at some point I'll come back in and I'll just be like, hey, listen, it doesn't matter if the earth is flat or round. I'm just trying to show you guys how to create an engaging post on a, in a Facebook group. Yeah. You know? uh -huh. And, and then they're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Because, you know, when it comes to affiliate marketing, most people have their own groups, and uh, they're looking how to get engagement, and that's what it's all about, you know. And the more controversial, the better. Again, you're going to create some haters, you know. Like, people probably think I'm an idiot or crazy because I think the earth is flat, which I don't care. You know, laugh at me all you want. I don't care. I feel, I feel like you are you anyway, man. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. You laugh at me when you have, you know, 30 people in your group, and I, I have – whatever 750 in 35 days right so yeah but just, you know like i said get outside your uh if you're still watching this video for whatever reason if it's on facebook or if it's in youtube um you know definitely like comment below do whatever um and then yeah i think that's about it huh man i i can't say thank you enough for your time man this has been amazing drop some knowledge bombs hopefully the people that are watching this understand the value that Corey's provided here. Uh, this has been absolutely amazing. So, dude, thank you very much. Enjoy your evening. Go spend some time with your wife or whatever, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of town this weekend. So, uh, or oh, no. so I'm all by myself in my hotel room. Eh, I guess I'll see if I can get 800 members tonight. <clears throat> that would be amazing, man. Which, by the way, just so you know, like whenever you uh, do interviews and stuff, usually at the very end, you let the person plug their, you know, group or whatever you know oh yeah sorry <laughs> take the floor of course
got an amazing group, guys. Everyone should jump into it. I'm sorry, but yeah, I, I apologize. Man. I should have done that. Would you like to give a brief explanation as to your group and what it's all about? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, guys, again, I'm Coach Corey. Together, we'll do it better. I have a Facebook group where I teach you how to grow a Facebook group to 1,000 members or more in 90 days or less. If you guys want to join, it's called Facebook Group Explosion. Maybe uh, Jamie would be cool enough to leave a link or something for it so you guys can yep. join. And uh, I'll definitely see you on the inside. I'll help you out as much as possible. If you guys want to do an interview like this with me and your group, just reach out to me, man. I'm always cool with it, and I'm here to help you grow your group. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I should have done that at the start when people are actually still watching the video. <laughs> okay. It don't matter. It's up on YouTube or something, you know, whatever. Again, yeah, if you're not. Both, he actually watches this to the end, and then they're like, oh, he's actually got a group. But nonetheless, if you leave a comment with the, the link to the group, that'd be perfect, you know. Absolutely, people can just man. Check out after watching the first three minutes instead of, you know, the last uh, 59 minutes. So, yeah, we're at one hour. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect interview, man. Great mm -hmm. job. I had fun. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I appreciate your time so much, man. Let's get around. Good luck with your group. Let me know how it goes. Keep me posted. And then definitely check out the 30-day uh, live challenge in my group uh, so you can get your uh, oh, free course. Wait it. Love it. Love it. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Have a good night. All right, man. You too. See ya. See you later, guys.